Hey, 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 this is Boat Doctor. Out here is the rain getting 50 gallons of uh, non ethanol. Uh, brake fluid I checked up underneath there, top mount coupler. You got two and five sixteenths inch ball on there. You got the chain, uh, uh, cable to your brake, blue wires, your solenoid. You got your foot jack, which is good. You got a two speed, heavy duty winch, propylene roller. You got this little bit of reverse right down here. Uh, that helps keep that water spray down. They really did a good job with their top gunnel. And again, this is a 240 Pacific Cruiser. Nice boat. So Greg did a good job uh, rigging everything up. Now, I said everything. The only thing I can't do is the updates. You got to do that to action captain on an app. It's a cool app, Garmin does. That's why I like Garmin. They're this top of the notch. You can do updates right out in the water. I've got light bar, Garmin Phantom. Uh, Dual range, good radar art. You got a fish fighter anchor in a pulpit up there. You got anchor lock there. You got the uh, high rise up in the bow. So you got some more headroom because you got a bathroom up in there. You got that nice window getting out, getting the rope, which means a lot. There's a drain. Uh, 35 cents high side. There's a 13 by 20 by 35 degree hole. So it's a variable degree to hole. Keel does not meant to rest on that roller. Uh, that light bar put out some light, by the way. Side windows, those guys that just got them installed, gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad, half full, that's half to three quarter, that's where you want them. And you got four, four by, four by four bunks with slicks. You can get a rag up there, I think. Uh, you spent some money there <clears throat> on those uh, sliders, fish fighters. Oof. Very expensive. Anyway, I put my uh, rope, go with G5 bumpers. You got trim tabs. You got your zinc, double zinc bars. Those are good. You got zinc underneath there. You got zinc everywhere. This is a 99 high thrust with the, uh, you just got to remember, you don't want a tie bar. It's a good idea. He, this guy didn't even put one on here because he's got this Garmin Reactor 40 autopilot. And if you tie bar that and turn that autopilot, this is trying to move that motor in this boat, you'll fry the motor. Inspection caps that's to get to your bilge pumps, and if you forgot your drain plug, you can get in through there. Don't over tighten those. Just tighten them down to where they're hand tight. If you do it, you're gonna squish the O-ring, gas vent. <clears throat> ah, did a good thing. We went to the 15 by 15 on the Yamaha Saltwater 2. Any of these bigger gear spaces are three six, three eight, four twos. Yeah, you want to run a 15 diameter now, by a 15 pitch, is, it varies on the boat, but uh, okay, on the diameter size, if, if it's a 15 pitch, but a 15, you don't have 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half, 15 and three quarters, really don't, just so it's a 15 diameter, just so you know. Uh, stainless uh, steel prop shaft, drive shaft, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, special paint, same thing with the kicker. You got zinc adenoids internally on this 250, on all of them, even that eight. Every cylinder on the block, they zinc them up. There's the fresh water flush, there's the T2. Hey, just carry some of your uh, dental floss, those little plastic fork looking things. There's on the end of them, you can twist them out and if these ever get plugged, you can just push it in there and clean your thing out. Works pretty good. Then if you need to clean your teeth, there, there you go. You got your, uh, uh, what do call it? Yeah, now I forgot what I called it. Anyway, you got a ladder, rear entry door. Uh, nice job there, real sanitary. Crab Davit, got the Garmin, updated that one. Deck light, uh, rocket launchers, uh, controls for the back. He's got the autopilot back there, plus you can run up there, plus he's got the handheld remote. Gear oil hubs look good. Spare tire carrier. So then what we can do is jump in here, and it's a 100 gallon tank, and it's about 26.8 overall. So you do meet that 26. Where they set you down, you can go out if you want to, 102 on the beam. And dry boat weight's about 41, that's dry boat weight. And it looks like you got the 54, 51. Let's see here. I sometimes just get up like that instead of folding that ladder down. When you get in here, these slide, you got your control box for your kicker batteries are right here you run them on on but if you need that power uh, like say you want the batteries go dead put them on the yellow you got to make sure 
Stove is off, on. Refrigerator, will turn on. Main house, will turn on. And we leave that like that, close that up. I'll check these out to make sure those work. That is closed, suction cup to lock it. Batteries under here with the lock. Got lights here. Live well here with a little ballast board. That's meant for when that water's sloshing back and forth. It doesn't overflow and come out. It slows it down. There's your overfill and you got a rubber plate is in the glove box. And then right here, you got your fish box, live well, wash down plus this. If this is off, you got a cap. If you don't have the cap, you can turn this valve. Lockable, lockable. Insulated fish box. Here's your macerator. Uh, for this fish box here, you can either have it go in, you know, in the building, have it drain out, or you can uh, pump it out. And that's that pump there. There's your primer bulbs right there. And this is your pump out for your head. Right now it's going into your holding tank, which is right there. Uh, water separator, we changed the new one. Boy, whoever put that baby on from the factory had some muscle. That sucker was on there. That's the head. Whoop, did I shut that off? Nope, still going. I'll get pump, pump. There. If you hear that, you know you're getting fuel out there. So you took that off to add fuel because if not, boy, it takes forever. There. There you go. And then I'll just slide this back up. there uh, you just slide that over lock it there you go cup holders for my big coffee cup Garmin up here nice ram out nice wiring job this is how when the door shut you go like this and you can open it up that clicks that means you got to do that this light right here is right there I see it a clipboard so you push for oh right here there overhang which makes it nice too because you can stand out here without getting soaked okay storage underneath there foot rest you got Lift up, pull out, lift up, pull out. Put all your boxes there. Storage up underneath here. Uh. Oh, and you can slide this back and forth. It's kind of nice. Swivel seats, makes it nice. You can swivel this around and sit at the table. Suspension seats with swivel, back, arms height adjustment foot rest foot rest door that locks here slides over here toilets up there usb port cigarette lighter fan they work actually really good your remote for your autopilot on your kicker your owner's packets keys autopilot cradle if you need to ever bleed your steering here's the hose with it with the connector on it your owner's books for the motors and stuff are in here and the cap this little cap here is when you take that antenna off the roof that goes in there so water doesn't get in the connectors this goes up out of your way You've got another garmin fuel tank vhf 115 this does not have ais you probably knew that fans valve bilge app bilge wipers up is one down is all Horn works, nav lights works, cab lights, they work. And then you got courtesy lights. Courtesy lights. They were down on the floor somewhere. Back. Back here. I got it covered up. I didn't yeah, see. 
right there. Okay, this is going to be perfect by the time I get done. Okay, turn the key on real quick. This is for the live well that's got to be on. If you want the live well to work, if you look at my window, that's your front floodlight. And here's your to pump water in and to flush. Toilet's up underneath here. So you gotta just lift this up, lift this up, and then that board slides out. Okay. Then up under here is just more storage. Then up under here, I'm gonna have to get into one of these because they gotta have a of, of, oh, do your valves all the way to the back so you don't have to worry about that. Never mind. And then here's another one of those lights. Okay, just had your typical hour meter pack. Fuel gauge is working. Uh, cable shift, trim tabs. Did a good job wiring that up. So now I need to set the, I got most of this all set. Uh, pretty nice actually you'll like it you got some good combos in there plus now I got to calibrate that GS 24 GPS antenna and the autopilot for the kicker make sure it reads on here reads on the little control reads on the back and reads on the Display right there, and that's how I'll probably set it up is through that because it talks to all this <clears throat> Grab handles nice boat. We'll see how she handles all right, this is the boat doctor.